Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 24 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So what we are going to do now is uh, work around with text tool right here. So inside of text tool you can see that there are a lot of options and normally you, we use the type tool. So if you just click on an area and then start typing along. But that is not the most um, efficient way to design. There's something called an area type uh, text type tool or let's say which can be used to uh, type in inside of a particular shape. So if I have a shape over here and then I use my area type tool on a non compound. So I have to actually remove the color over here and then I can use uh, the tool over here select this. I can use the type tool over here instead then start typing inside the particular shape. But one of the easy ways to actually create uh, a text box is to just go to type tool and then click and drag. So what it does is it actually brings out a text box instead of just a text. So I can just type in any text I want, just like this. And then what it does is let me copy and paste this to see uh, to, uh, so that we can experiment on what we can do. So you can see that this actually brings up a uh, regular uh, type of a uh, box text box uh, right there. So what we can do with the text box is we can actually align this so we can left align this center align this or right align this just like we would in Microsoft Word. We can also make an envelope and create different shapes to it if we want so we can have uh, different types of envelope to this and then we can also uh, go for paragraph effects over here. So for paragraph effects just go to paragraph panel right here or you can also go to um, the paragraph is not here. Sorry for that. So I'm just going to go to paragraph over here and you can see that there are a lot of options over there. So uh, if you were to use uh, left align, you can see that left align is there, center line align is there. There's even left justify, there's uh, center justify and right justify. So let me just increase the size of the text box over there so you can see the effect over here. All right. So it seems like I typed quite a while, uh, quite a lot there. So let me just go to paragraph over there. So I can uh, left justify, center justify, and right justify, and overall justify the text. So right now you can see that there is some hyphenate over, over here because the sentence didn't finish. So if you don't want the hyphenate option to be there, just go to paragraph and then disable the hyphenate just like that. I can also add in tab to the uh, left side. I can also add padding just like that to the left side. Of the shape I can also padding on to the right side I can add padding on to the first sentence which I we would see in regular magazines and so forth I can also add in padding uh, just like that on the first sentence just like that I can also add padding to the bottom if I want and so forth so these are some of the options that paragraph actually gives me um, usually when I over type uh, in a text box usually when you use the normal type tool you do not actually see that but if you over type uh, you actually see this um, uh, reddish like icon right here, plus like icon. So if you were to click on it, uh, then uh, it actually me, it, uh, allows me to click on uh, someplace else and it actually gives me the rest of the text. So I can actually click again and click forth to bring rest of the text. And once I type in, and this is a very, very interesting. So if I were to go into text tool and type again, then it actually pushes the text onto the next box as it is linked together, you can see. So when the text ends here, it is actually linked onto this text box right here and then the text start here. And once uh, the text ends here, it'll start over here. And this is how the text box option is actually uh, maintained inside of Adobe Illustrator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.